Hello, I am Jody Wolf. You're watching Exposed June 24, 2015, 12.46 a.m. in Birmingham. Topic, the reason America is about to crash and burn. <clears throat> and you have to go back to 1776 and... You know what they wrote on the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. You know where this group of people formed and what they formed out of. And you know their intent. Their intent was actually, well, their intent is to escape England and get out from under the British. But to have a nation that is protected against the government. So we formed our own constitution and our laws, our Bill of Rights. We have those things that protect us. But America has failed miserably, starting from me, was in 1960. I was born in 49, so I was 11 years old at the time. Well, I take that back. It's probably 1963. I was about 14. That was probably the last time that I went to school and prayed in class. And I believe it was in the eighth grade. And I know when I got to high school, we didn't pray. We didn't even have a, a salute the flag. But when you sit back and name and blame all the people who has caused this, one person stand up, one atheist stand up and make millions, tens of millions Stop praying in class every day, and we Christians let them do it. We could have stopped it instantly. And then you have abortion come online, and you have a, a handful of women, women rights, burn your bra stuff, that demands that they don't have to carry a baby that they didn't intend to have. Roe versus Wade may have been the first defense, but it failed miserably. And it was because of the Christians. We could have stopped it. We, the Christians, or the reason that America is going to crash and burn. My children, praise God, grew up praying in school because they went to private schools. And my granddaughter prays every day because she goes early to school to a prayer class. Work we're keeping our children with the knowledge of God, His love in the Bible, in His Word, and of course, what Jesus did for us on the cross. But it's the Christians that have allowed today no more praying around the flagpole, no more praying at, at, at an army military service funeral where uh, uh, one of our men was killed in Iraq or in Afghanistan. That's the Christian's fault. We could have, should have stopped it, but we didn't. And this country is going to pay the price for it. We have not seen judgment from God yet. But when we do, oh, how horrible it's going to be. We have turned our backs on Israel. 
we've turned our backs on the Jews. And this country is turning its backs on the Christians. The time is coming very soon. And, and I, I have to say, in my opinion, again, my opinion, I didn't read it and say this is the date, but out of all that I hear and read and all that I understand, September 2015 is going to be a really bad month for the, this country and this world. All because the Christians failed to stand up when they should have. That's my opinion still, even there. But God saw the beginning from the end. He saw the end and then the beginning. He knew what was coming and going at all times. It still does. But we've turned our backs on the Jews. Officially, Obama has done that. Kerry has done that. And now demanding that they go back to 67 borders. And... Not only have they turned on the Jews, they are siding with Iran and helping Iran build a bomb. If they side with Iran and they don't stop it or impose anything to slow it, then they may as well send a team of people over there and help them finish building it. But I got news for you. We're going to be judged for that harshly, worse than any man can imagine. But it's not going to be the Christians who will be judged. It'll be the ones who are standing up and doing it today. It's the ones who's bringing the persecution to the Christians in this country and the persecution to the Jews. You hear stories that Christopher Columbus was the first man in this country. They were kicked out of Spain and Portugal in, what, 1492 or somewhere in there in uh, 1502. But they come here. Well, they didn't come to the United States. They landed in the Caribbean islands there. Their first spot to touch down was actually South America. And then you hear that they come and killed tens of thousands, if not millions, of the Indians, you know, made the Mayans, and then the Native Americans, which is baloney. Why would the Jews come and do that when that just happened to them in Portugal and Spain and then they fled, they were kicked out and they come over here and do that? No, they didn't do that. That was another crew of people from Spain and Portugal that heard what Christopher Columbus had found. They wanted what they have found. And they came over and they started in South America and they went through there all the way through North America and took what they wanted and killed those who stood in the way. So don't blame the Jews for the world's problems. In my opinion, America got where America is because we Christians didn't stop the things that was tearing this country down when we could have. What else can I say? All I can tell you is be prepared. And the best way to be prepared is go to Christ. He still protects his own. Jody Wolf Exposed.